you know there are internet providers who have been warning many countries which are going into polls this year some have already completed we are in the process that china will try to use artificial intelligence to uh, penetrate our electoral process of course our uh, our evms are not connected to the internet but there are other methods to which we can they can influence do you think that it's a very very strong possibility that they have already tried to impact our elections or they could still try to impact elections you know as you said evms luckily are hmm. stand alone but narratives hmm. you see building narratives Uh, using influencers social media or even print or electronic that is one uh, major cause of worry because and fake news now you know uh, using artificial intelligence yeah. fake news showing somebody who's not there mm. saying something which he never said mm. that is something which you have to be guard against mm. and i am not a technical man so i don't know how do you guard against it mm. but this is something which we need to be very careful about that how do you tackle false narratives fake narratives even the prime minister has gone on record to talk about this fake narratives and fake visuals so i think that is something which we need to worry about and it's not only china you know they are um, uh, the deep state as it is being referred to you find so many uh, things that are happening so soros there could be so many others huh The, so the India's upward trajectory is not exactly a comfortable situation for many countries, including yeah. China, uh, which did, did, has not factored in that India could be. And India's rise, whether it is in the G20, Quad, whatever, is not a comfortable situation. When we were talking about artificial intelligence, just yesterday, um, uh, there was a fake video out uh, of Amit Shah. Uh, of the indian home minister you know where he's he's talking about certain things which he never did it's a it's ai generated it's fake uh, so like i was saying that it's not maybe just chinese interference it could be the deep state interference how dangerous is it on the outcome of the polls you know i think it certainly is a danger and we have to guard against it in all elections you know uh, the chinese for instance have played that role in canada already in america uh, in the us uh, in supposedly in taiwan hmm. and so therefore the technology exists hmm. in canada there is a public inquiry commission going on uh, you know looking at foreign interference uh, looking at uh, the the chinese interference which is supposed to have taken place twice in two of their elections hmm. 2019 and 21 so i think uh, we have to guard against it develop those guardrails they de develop those cyber security methods and those ways to uh, you know counteract this uh, possibility click here to watch the full episode